Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Legends of Another World, Curse of Surya. In the last episode we made our way through the Haunted Mansion and uh, because I was aware there were seven trials and I wanted to fit them all into the same episode, I rather hurried through some of them and forgot to look around. So in this one, uh, I went straight to the northwest corner, but I wonder if there's anything in the southwest. Um, that was an invalid direction, so it returns me to the start. Okay, but going west from there brings me here. And I get an enchanted staff. Um, that sounds like a we Hang on, since when have I had... Um, those must have been boss drops that I haven't used up yet. Uh, Dark Fang teaches Eclipse, no surprise there. Um, it's a weapon. Um, who uses staffs? Harley, no, he uses emblems. It's a mage thing, so Amanda? Yes, it's Amanda. Only a small increase, but worth having. Um, the HP plus I'm certainly giving to Harley. Um, uh, well, I say certainly, but um, one thing is that I do want to have another crack at that um, optional boss in the graveyard. And for that, it's most important to have as many members as possible uh, kind of on the threshold of just able to survive its tornado. Um, at the moment, Ivy is the only one who's over that threshold with the... Um, HP plus 10 and HP plus 25 combination she has. Um, other members aren't going to reach that threshold even if I give them an HP plus, but I can also um, try to reduce the damage of Tornado um, by equipping um, Spirit plus 10 abilities and using the Aura um, special item. Uh, so all in all, I'm going to go with my first option of giving that to Harley. Um, luck plus. Uh, I don't know exactly what luck does, um, but Namida thinks it might increase the rate of steals and criticals. Um, both of those sound good for Alicia. Um, strength plus. You know, this, this she's... Alicia's just got an ability, uh, um, a stat boost. I'm, I'm not going to give her this one. Um, so, Liana has strength 45 at the moment. Tara is all the way down at 33, so she, she gets this. Um... Is, is that large difference because, yes, Liana has strength plus 10%. Um, if I change that to a plus 5... Uh, oh no, it doesn't make that much difference. So Liana just has a much higher base strength than Tara. Okay, so I'm glad I gave her that. What about the opposite corner? Calamity Bomb. That is um, uh, an item for Alicia. Damages an enemy and inflicts various statuses. Um, I don't know what statuses. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in a second, but first... Um, before I forget, I want to give the Dark Fang to Ivy. So, um, one thing that, um, that I didn't talk much about in the previous episode uh, was my choices for how to inflict zombie in the Craig and Brianna fight. Um, so one option was uh, Alicia's Graveyard Fog, um, but I have only one of those and it isn't certain to inflict the zombie status. Uh, so I definitely wanted to have another option other than that. Um, Ivy's Plague 
can also do it, but that requires four rounds to cast just because um, you have to build up her BP. So again, I wasn't happy about the idea of going into the battle with Graveyard Fog and Plague being my only options for casting Zombie. Um, Calamity Bomb might be another if it casts Zombie. I don't know exactly what status is it casts, uh, but I did try it out um, in, in the period when I was trying various things and I didn't get it to cast Zombie, so I don't think it can. So all in all, um, Zombie Attack was a good idea, but I did overlook the fact that Lena starts with the ability. So I didn't need to learn it with Liana, and unfortunately that does mean that um, that I've delayed the ability to get uh, Strength Buster and Magic Buster, uh, both of which I definitely want to learn next. Now Tara is getting quite close to being able to learn one of the two, um, but it will be a while before I can get both. So, again, that one's on me. I do have um, a much older save. Well, not much older, but I have a save at around the nine hours mark. So before I started trying things for the Craig and Brianna battle. So if I really want to, I can go back all the way back there. But I think I'm just going to live with the decision I made. Um, so this is the other room I wanted to take a second look at because uh, I went straight for the northeast corner feeling fairly certain that was where the prize would be and I was right. So I want to see whether anything is lurking in the other corners. Uh, it looks quite difficult to get to this corner. Um, does look difficult to get to that corner, but I, I feel sure it can be done, just because there are so many options for ways to move around this maze. Um, maybe I need to be a bit further to the... yes. Can I get there from here? There is a chest there. Now, how do I get to it? Like this? Yes. And it's empty after all that effort. Thanks, Namida. Still, at least we uh, confirmed that. And now let's see what, um, I, I know that when there's a flush wall like this, there's no room beyond. Uh, this is not an interesting boss fight. Um, well, it's not a boss fight at all. This is enemies we've seen before, so I'm going to skip this battle. Amanda and Ivy both leveled up during that battle, and that was also the first battle uh, we've ever seen in which uh, one member gained 10 AP. Uh, I think it was Amanda, I'm not sure. Everyone has different rates of gaining AP um, because of their various levels, although it's a bit weird that um, I think it was Amanda who gained the most AP and she's not the highest level. Uh, not the lowest level. Still, I'm not complaining because she's the character I want AP gain for the most. Alright, I get the feeling we're close. Which means we'd better get ready to kick some major butt. But Leanna, calm down. These people have already proven they're crazy. Who knows what they'll do next. Easy! They'll summon a great big scary demon to destroy us! Lena, this isn't the time for jokes. Sorry! 
everything they do, they believe they do it for Lunaris. Whether that's true or not, it means they're very dangerous. Better make sure we're prepared. You're right. Let's not go any further until we're sure we're ready for anything they could do. <laughs> Aren't you all ready, ready? You can never be too safe. So that's a warning that we're about to have a major boss battle, but as always, my method of getting ready... Really? As always, my method of preparing for a boss battle is to run into it blindly and see what it's like, so that I have a better idea of what preparations to make. Uh, also, Alicia levelled up from that random encounter, so even though I'm probably going to lose this boss battle and be at a save before that game, um, it's good to know that she's that close to levelling up in case I want to fight another random encounter before taking this on. Um, and who are you? Where's Cameron? Perhaps you misheard me. I asked who you are, not what you want. And she asked where Cameron is. Answer her now. Alicia Vasco, I know you. You just love causing trouble for us, don't you? Linda, like I'm going to let you go around doing stupid things in the name of some imaginary devil. Imaginary? Such a fool. You're the fool. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Coda. I'm the leader of the people of Lunaris, the enlightened ones who realise resistance is futile. We seek not to defy Lunaris, but instead to appease him, in the hope that when he inevitably returns, he will spare us. You're crazy. Lunaris is pure evil. He won't care what you do. Perhaps, but is it not worth trying? Of course not. Tell me, Alicia, why do you not believe legends? No, the history of the world we live in. Because it's a pile of shit, simple as that. Tell me, did you not, did you yourself not meet one of the Trinity recently? One of the Trinity? You believed you had accidentally freed Lunaris, but instead Zeon was waiting for you. Is this not true? That girl? She was Zeon? Lena, was it? Tell me, you know much of the legends, right? Is it not true that Zeon alone restrains Lunaris? Like I tell you, even if I knew! So stubborn. Not that it matters, I already know all I need to. Truth is, Zeon has no physical form. She exists as a power in the souls of the other two elements, Yahweh and Tamiku. But you just said... They lied to you about Lunaris being there? Who says they wouldn't lie about Zeon too? It's all in the interest of protecting the mystery and keeping the lives of the gods separate from ours. Then why interfere? Lunaris won't just sit there sealed away. He'll break free. Part of his spirit already has. Tell me. Do you know what this crystal is? Another stupid figment of your wild imagination. Alicia. This crystal is a fragment of Lunaris' spirit. Should I allow it to absorb some physical form? Please, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? I can bring part of Lunaris back to this world where he wants to be once again. Let's show these fools. Give yourselves to Lunaris now! Uh-oh. I'll leave you to greet the reborn Lunaris. Ugh, what is this? Oh, this is bad. Very bad. But what? No, no, this isn't possible. Everyone, run! Really, Tara? I have a better idea. Please, Liana, any time but now. I don't 
don't know what that thing is or how it got here. My whole idea of reality is just being shattered. But I'm with Liana on this one. Yeah, go Alicia! I can't fucking believe you want to fight Lunaris. I don't believe we have much of a choice. It's not like we'd be able to get away. Ah. Liana, if we somehow get out of this alive, remind me to kill you. Just be glad it's only a small part of him. We can do this. Come on. Intense music for what I um, assume is going to be a particularly intense boss fight. So let's have a look at his steals. Nothing. Okay, he can cast one hit kill. Um, how do you feel about fire? Um, that heals you, so um, next next chance I get, I'll try ice. I'm not sure these are the four members I would choose to wander into battle with, but uh, we're here now. Um, dispatch will not work on bosses. I'm not even going to bother trying. Breaker attack. You are vulnerable. And you have a strong um, attack all. Um, this is the point where I would use the potion jug, but I already used it. Well, you're vulnerable to ice, and I just got wiped out. Once again, time to come back when I've thought about a strategy. That is a long cutscene to go through every time I want to have another attempt at this battle, so I hope I can manage to pull this off. Um, I had a little look at um, abilities, and I just don't have anything that um, uh, counteracts um, it's instant death skill, so I just have to revive after that. Um, I did scan it, and I found that it is vulnerable to uh, poison. I have a lot of toxic bombs from um, when I was doing the optional dungeon in the forest, so that's worth a try. Got it first try. And this is a bit of a cheat, but by having Lena in my original party, I can switch Harley in and have, hi and have him take a turn much earlier than he would normally, so he can, um, uh, he can get off a scan rapidly. Uh, it's vulnerable to ice, not fire. So obviously that's the element I should use. Whoa, I haven't seen that before. Okay, but that's uh, just a physical to all members. Um, but everyone's HP is a bit low, so at this point, um, you use a potion plus. Uh, because if he does another strong attack like that, it's imperative that at least one member survives. Uh, it starts with a very high HP, but I'm getting through it fairly rapidly. Uh, Hellfire. That is strong. Um, fortunately, I put... Oh, I'm using this Phoenix Dust. the right strategy, but I need to be even more vigilant about keeping my party members alive and at least one at high HP. Uh, also, a different party setup would be preferable. I should include Ivy, just because she has the most HP of any member. 
Um, and if I can put the poison status on it, then so long as I keep my party members alive, eventually I'm sure to win. Um, I decided to take a break from the Lunaris Fragment and have another crack at the optional boss in the graveyard. Um, its biggest threat was um, a powerful tornado attack, so I decided to see whether I can counteract that by having um, a party member, uh, sorry, a party whose members... Uh, Try to make sure that at least one party member can survive the tornado and then hurry up and revive everyone else. So, uh, obviously, Ivy's HP is the biggest. Um, I've also bought... A spirit plus 10% and given those to Harley, Alicia and Tara. Um, that's something I'll want anyway. Um, now, that, now that the possibility is there, I, I want to upgrade everyone's plus 5% to plus 10% as early as possible. So that won't be wasted, even if I can't defeat the, this boss right now. Um, this character, I didn't uh, speak to her on my way in. You should learn to spell too. A lot of ghosts like to cast regen on you. If Zombie and Regen are combined, the effect is like a strong poison. So that's a hint I overlooked about what to do in the Craig and Brianna battle, and that hint is accessible before the battle. So, oops. Uh, I think if I use Harley's first turn to um, replace him immediately, then he still gets credit for being in the party. No, I'm wrong. Never mind. Uh, that did get the level up that was pending. Um, just heal up quickly. And let's go take another look at that. Oh, put my formation back to what it was. So I want Harley, Alicia, Tara, and Ivy in my main party for this fight. And I'll put the others in if I get towards the end. So, um, I think we decided it has no steals. Um, I'm, I'm going to try charge, ooh, I need charges 8 now, 8 BP per use. Um, we'll try things like Breaker Attack and Play just in case it's vulnerable, but probably not. And I would like to get up the opportunity to scan, but I'm not sure that will happen. Uh, I should have used the same trick of having uh, Lena in and switching her for Harley straight off. Um, here comes Tornado. Uh, it's still almost an entire party wipeout. Um, yeah, Phoenix Dust. And then, um, Hype Potion. Ah, oh, may as well use this turn to scan. No, not vulnerable. That's to be expected for an optional boss. Oh, I, I want to lay on some damage, so I'll attack with Ivy. Ooh, nice. Um, play. No, not vulnerable to anything. Either that or it did literally miss. Um, Potion Plus should be enough this time. Uh, no, actually. So I'll use the second one. And even at that, obviously, two or... Oh, no. 
two or three potion pluses uh, would be cheaper than um, a hyper potion, but it's it's a matter of timing. So uh, I'm still not strong enough to take this, but getting closer. Okay, so I'll see you back for another shot at the fragment. Um, so as soon as you enter the room with uh, this room, the cutscene starts and you have no choice but to start the battle. Uh, so I didn't uh, get the chance to rearrange my party uh, before coming in. Um, what was I going to do? Yes. Try to inflict poison as quickly as possible. It worked. Um, and switch a member for Harley so he can um, throw off a scan and use ice on this. Um, break for that. Um, not sure who has the highest HP at the moment, or highest maximum HP, probably Alicia, so I chose her to be the one who survived, um, Phoenix Dust, and Hyper Potion. Um, may as well scan now. So, uh, that's excellent progress. Not sure if I'm going to succeed this round. Uh, as usual, it will depend on how quickly I can... I'm going to use the Hyper Potion first. Then revive Harley. Then revive Harley again. And it's down. I uh, didn't get to do much party member swapping, and that's a shame when 30 AP were up for grabs, but Harley and Liana got them, that's, that's important to me. IV, not so much. Ah, uh, is everyone alright? Told you we could do it! Don't act all cheerful with me. I'm still really mad at you, Liana. Calm down, Tara. We won. There's no need to worry now. I, I guess. Ah, uh, I think I need some rest. You're not alone. Let's head over to the inn for now. Good idea. Ah, uh, I can't believe we came out of that one alive. I can't believe anything right now. Ah, uh, how could I have been so stupid? Alicia, you weren't the only one who had doubts. You don't understand. It's way worse than just me being wrong. What do you mean? Never mind. I need to be alone. Okay, I think we're losing her for a bit. But she'll come back. Alicia was far stronger in her disbelief than any of us. It's to be expected that she'd be in shock. It's not that simple. You do know about her past, right? Well, we met that uh, ninja called Ben. I think he has something to do with it. Um. Oh, well, I guess it's not really my place to say. Come on, Lena, tell us. 
Um, sorry, I don't think I should. Ask her if you really want to know. So anyway, no sign of Cameron there. Uh, I doubt they could have gotten him off this island. Someone would have noticed. But, you know, maybe they absorbed him into that crystal. What if he never left Saria? I uh, don't think that's likely. Uh, makes sense, I guess. There or Taspia are the only places he could be. You don't know that. They could have gone through the Metaspi and taken him anywhere. Not a chance. The Trinity would strike them down if they tried. I'm sure of it. You can't be sure. Coda did have a good point. Even if some of the legend is true, we have no way of knowing which parts. So I guess it's back to Nyata. I think we should make sure he's not in Surya first. He could even be in the Metaspi somewhere. Well, while you guys think up your next move, I'm going to go back to Surya and look there. It was nice working with you. Sorry, my Lena voice is terrible, but she's gone now, so you don't have to suffer through any more of that. So, uh, what are we going to do? He's clearly not here. Lena's got the right idea. Let's head back to Saria. I guess. Alicia, are you all right? Please, just let me be by, be my, just let me be by myself. Well, that is written correctly. I don't know why I have such difficulty reading it. Alicia, come on, we're all completely shocked by what we saw, but this isn't like you. You don't get it. All my life I've so strongly thought the legends were all a bunch of crap, and... yeah. Tara, I don't want to talk about this. Please just leave me alone for a bit. I see. Okay, that's where we're leaving off for today, but uh, the next thing will be to go back to Surya and see what happens. See you then.